Okay, so I've had this sword for a while, and it was my grandfather's sword, and I didn't really look into what kind of sword it was. I knew it was an older sword, probably from the 1800s, but I didn't know if it was Civil War or if it, even if it was American because it had some French writing on it right here. So just recently, I did a little bit of research looking the sword up and you know, looking through some forums and posting this on some Civil War forums and seeing if anybody had any information on it. My initial thoughts were it was a, a Model 1860 cavalry sword, American cavalry sword from the Civil War, because it, it looked kind of like that. The further I looked into this, with some help of people online, this is actually a French model 1882 cavalry saber you can see some of the details here there is a date it says model 1882 i think this one was made in 1885. it's a really neat sword and it's actually in pretty good shape there's a little bit of rust a little bit of wear but it's it's a really uh it's a really beautiful sword the handle is in good shape and the blade's in pretty good shape. Scabbard is 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 rusted, but um, but it's in decent shape. It says number 233, so I don't know if that was the the particular model number or or what that was. If there's anybody out there that has any more information on these swords, on the French model 1882 light cavalry saber, please put that info in the in the uh, in the comments. I'd love to learn more about this. So if there's anybody out there that knows more details about that, please let us know. So this little channel here on the blade, you see these on sword, a lot of different swords. And my grandfather told me what this was for. Maybe he just made it up, but it, it sounds right. If it's not right, please correct me in the comments. But what this channel is for here on the side of the blade is when you impale somebody with this sword, this channel allows airflow into the wound, you know, so that, that air and oxygen gets deep into the wound and creates more internal bleeding, creates more more bleeding in, in the wound altogether. You know, instead of just the sword going in and kind of blocking up the wound and, and the bleeding, that air just rushes in, makes it much more fatal. Pretty gruesome detail, but very interesting. You know, if anybody else has more info on that, please, I'm, I'm not an expert at all. Just uh, looking into this, this sword and, and, and showing what I know. It's in good shape, it's beautiful. The actual blade here is, it's very dull. So I don't know if this actually ever saw service or saw battle probably not because that is very dull but the points very sharp i don't know where my grandfather got this sword i, I have no idea i know he he was a carpenter and he did a lot of construction on home so maybe it was it was uh you know part of an estate or part of a home he was remodeling who knows but uh it's a very neat sword and you can see it is it's actually fairly lightweight being on horseback, you probably one hand you have on the reins of the horse, and then, you know, this hand you're using to work the sword. So it is a nice lightweight sword. I like it a lot. It's about 40 inches long from butt to tip, and I, I don't know the weight on it, but it's not heavy at all. This is the French Model 1882 Light Cavalry Saber.